chef, test the author. I'm just a jack of all trades. But today's post isn't it's informing. But I just gotta let y'all know about some things. Something that happened to me that was very unfortunate. So recently, I've been saving up my money trying to buy a car. And um, <laughs> so recently, I was saving up my money trying to buy a car. And I saved up about $2,000 and was just started looking for cars. And so, first, I was looking at Carvana. Heard some good stuff about it, but I was just trying to avoid the the payments on the car. I just wanted me to car a car to get me from A to B, get me to the gym, get me to the clients that I gotta train, get me to work, and just get me around the city. That's because I was always biking. I would bike work, I would bike to work and bike back. So it was like eight miles. So it really wasn't a big deal. But I knew this car would help me in a tremendous amount of ways, and also just help you know help the family and shit like that. It's an extra car at the house, whatever. Do what you gotta do. But Unfortunately, it didn't go out as I planned. So, was on Craigslist, seeing the Honda, 2007 Honda CRV for two grand, 85,000 miles on there. I'm like, this is a fucking steal. Like, two thousand dollars for this kind of car. You know, Hondas last for a long time, so I was like, I gotta hop on this shit. Hopped on the deal, and then met a lady named Martha Gibson. Didn't really meet her. Met her over the internet. And she sent me a message, message going to be in a video, sent me a message explaining who she was, why she's selling the car, and like the process of buying the car. And I'm like skimming through it, I'm not really reading, I'm just like skimming, okay, okay, what I got to do, okay, cool, 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 do this, do that, bam, cool. So then, start going through the process, messaging back and forth, you know, about the car, what I got to do, get it, then I get an email from eBay telling me the process that I got to do but it wasn't I don't I don't think it was the official eBay it said eBay but it had TM it's like a trademark so I'm thinking it's eBay like I'm not my mind is not telling me to do some research and behind it and shit like that I'm just thinking it's eBay I'm like eBay okay cool I've seen cars being sold on eBay I'm like cool so then started doing that and then finally sent like I want to say Last week, I sent her all the rest of the money, the two thousand dollars. I'm then they sent me an email like right after I uh, sent the two thousand. eBay sent me one. eBay, they sent me one saying that um, your cars is uh, in process to being transported, but need a thousand dollar insurance. And that shit didn't make sense. I'm like, I shouldn't have to deal with transportation. If the lady already paid for the five-day inspection insurance and also the transportation insurance. So that shit just wasn't adding up. I'm like, it doesn't make sense. And I'll call the number that they gave me. Like, this shit looked so fucking legit. Like, it's crazy. Like, people are this fucking good, bro. It's, it's nuts. So, you know, went through the process. Uh... But yeah, I get the email from eBay saying that you got to do that. And I call the, call the eBay number that they have at the bottom. And I'm like, yo, like, why do I got to pay this shit? And they just get, and it's, it picks up and it's a lady. And then she sounds like she's from like India or something. She has that accent to her. And I'm just like, I'm like, all right, you know, some customer services are like that. And then I'm just like, fuck it, just cancel the whole transaction. And then something's like, Cortez, go on Google. And I start Googling it what happened and people were just coming up with the stories how people were doing scams on Craigslist and eBay I went to eBay and like they even showed you an example how it's a, it's a scam and now I'm just like fuck I just got scammed out of two fucking thousand dollars why me that's what like I was like why me I'm doing so much good for the world you know helping people out with training fitness spreading knowledge giving back giving money to others like why this had to happen to me and like at first you know I could have thought I could have thought about it in a different perspective I could have been pissed off angry at the world angry for this happening to me but it also just made me it's like damn I had to be cautious with my decisions I have to research I have to I'm now I'm looking at this at the lessons that I'm learning from this but it's just like damn these motherfuckers are good 
how are you this good? How like man? And it's just like everybody's not like you. Everybody doesn't you know vibe like you. Do what you do. Everybody isn't you know trying to you know add good to the world. So it's like it made me open my eyes up and you know and not be um not be like not blindfolded, but like just be aware of my surroundings and be aware of of, of the shit that actually happens it's, it's it's just a learning process so now i'm just trying to like trying to figure out what can i learn from this situation and i, I created a gofundme not to really beg for some shit but if you you know if you feel if you feel generous and you want to help me out i'm not really even looking for no expensive as car i'm just looking for something decent uh i made a page explaining the little situation but i wanted to do a video so you can actually i can talk about it and tell you what happened and it's just fucking crazy that that shit happened, bruh. Like, I'm not pissed about it, but I'm just like, fuck. Because I know I'm going to get it back. Like, the universe is going to bless me back. So it's like, but bruh, I wanted that car. Ha. <sighs> Martha Gibson, why you do this to me? I'm such a good person. Like, jeez. About to go kill the gym in a little bit. Won't let this keep me down. Mm mm. Learning from it though. It's a lesson. It's not. Every you know, my boy Louis Garcia put up a post today, and it really touched me. Like it was, it's real. Like, as the situation is not, you know, it doesn't determine everything. The things that you go through don't determine everything. It's how you respond to that shit. How you respond to it that's going to affect you in the future, in the present. So now I'm, I'm, you know, learning and I'm just dealing with this in a different way. And I'm trying to, you know, see the good and, you know, good in it at the same time. But I made the GoFundMe page just asking for two grand because I just want a decent car to get me from to work, do whatever, whatever I got to be. Um, if you can help out, thank you. If you can't, still thank you. Share the message, you know. And I really wanted to do this post. I wasn't going to at first, but I wanted to do it because I don't want anybody else to take, get taken advantage of. Like, this shit's real out here. People are really out here doing this shit, legitly. So I wanted to do this to share my story and show people, like, man, shit's real out here in these streets. And just, I didn't want nobody else to get hit. So I was like, I got to get these motherfuckers off Craigslist and get their ass exposed real quick but that's the story man if you can help the link is gonna be in my instagram my twitter it's gonna be everywhere so thank you thank you thank you thanks for watching if you watched all the way enjoy the rest of your day please stay tuned because i'm still gonna be dropping knowledge wisdom facts helping as many people as i can this shit's not gonna stop me it's just a lesson you feel me so bless up enjoy the rest of your day Enjoy every day to the fullest. Live to the fullest. I'm going to enjoy this PB&J. Get you that chia seed jelly butter. Jelly. Because it's the best jelly in the game. Because you're getting chia seeds and jelly. Like, all right, man. I'm gone, man. Thanks. We out. Test fitness. What's up? What's up?